professional. All right, and welcome back to the games. Here we have one of my friends in our community. His name's Brixie. I love him. He's going to make a video of his own about this, and I'm going to ask him if I can release this to the YouTube channel. But this is a map that he has been working diligently on. This guy has put a lot of heart and soul into this map. I love it. Right here, you can see a two-dimensional version of uh, all the jump routes from small to large. You can see all the alien races. In fact, I might even put a link down here to the map if he is fine with that as well. Bricks is a really nice guy. He's been talking to me about this for, I don't know, the past month. And I've seen this progress. He showed me the work that he's put into this extensively. Very, very, very uh, excellent map as far as I'm concerned. And he's got a theory. And it's interesting here. And I'll read some of his comments. Uh, and I also put his YouTube channel down below in the description as well, Vagna. Thank you for, for mentioning that as well. Uh, notice the numbers to the left of the star names. So he's he's talking about the small numbers that you can see. And maybe you can't see it that great here. But there are numbers uh, that he has added since the last time he showed this to me. And um, the purpose here is to identify a timeline of discovery. So he literally has numbered the systems in so far as according to the lore, the systems that have been discovered from the first system to the last system of discovery. Very, very cool. Very cool. And he's got a theory, which is, yeah, it's tons of work. It, I mean, he really poured a lot of uh, heart and soul in this. Uh, and I've added a few items indicating things like the black hole at Tamza, uh, where Big Bendy's was founded in the giant worm at Lair. Uh, so he's got even notations on this map. The green names indicate the original Tamarain systems, and the purple names are the Perry Line. Uh, for those of you that don't understand what the Perry Line is, I believe that the Perry Line, I might be incorrect in this, but I believe the Perry Line is the defensive imaginary line drawn between uh, the humans and the Xi'an race. If I'm wrong, correct me over here, family, but I believe that's what the Perry Line is. Thank you, Dubs. Dubs is like that is correct. Uh, uh, and I'm a very big on lore, so thank you so much. Uh, again, I am only using this map to help work out the story the video would tell. Uh, too messy with the color names and numbered systems. After the backstory of the Discovery timeline has been told, we can use a simplified version of the map that shows how capital class ships can travel. Ooh, one like this for capital ships. Ho, ho, ho. He has a two-dimensional map for capital ship uh, jump points. That is very very handy brixie awesome dude awesome uh this map only shows large jump routes and is the key to predicting new systems to come so here's his theory the logic is when they add new systems they need to ensure uh that players with ships that can only travel the largest jump routes will be able to visit all systems in the pu I like his line of thinking. I wouldn't disagree with it, actually. This requ requirement will highly influence their decisions for future systems. This this could be a guide map. This could be a, a guidepost into what systems are coming out next as well. So, you know, that's his kind of line of, of logic here. Um, the content may be too long for just one video, he says, because he really wants to delve into this, and I don't blame him. I, I cannot do justice to what he is about to, this endeavor has taken him at least a month and a half so far. The video is probably going to take him at least another month to make uh, if he wants to do it right. And he is going to do it right. I know Bricks and he's going to do it right. Um, uh, he says maybe it'll be too long for a single video and he might have to break it up in parts. Uh, but P.S. Not sure I mentioned this, but recent videos from SIG not only provide one more hint that Pyro is next. So this is, you know, the speculation that we have out there. We've reported this on the channel about either Pyro or Nix being systems that might show up at CitizenCon. We're not sure. It's all speculation right now. Uh, but also recent hints regarding prisons uh, suggest that Kellogg may form part of the Squadron 42 storyline, which is a prison planet. Hmm. Finally, I have made two major discoveries whilst digging in the lore sources. Firstly, I found a quote from Chris Rogers that heavily, or Roberts is what he wants to say, that heavily suggests events to expect in Squadron 42 that are not widely known. We will be on a mission to rescue the general from behind Vandal lines, but also I found an even bigger uh, quote that suggests Earth will be taken at some point. 
Not sure if this is too revealing, but I can show the official sources this info came from too much of a spoiler. Here is one of the sources. So maybe I'll put that link in there as well. This is all research that Bricks has done. Again, this is all speculation right now, but he does really delve into the details. He is a very good researcher. Uh, him and I have had quite a few talks about this, and I would say that at least his line of logic is pretty on point. But, you know, again, speculation. Bishop, a very well-known and liked admiral of the UEE. Think of him like Maximus from Gladiator, uh, blah, blah, blah. This is general perception of what citizens generally think of Bishop. Uh, you start out in the military earning citizenship. So he's given a little bit of, like, plot line of Squadron 42 here. Uh, but all in all... Um, it's, it's just an interesting take here. I like Brixie's take. Based on what I learned from examining the Lord Deeper, I made a couple small changes on the map, mainly to reflect uh, the Trice is mainly an isolated Banu religious installation. That's interesting. And the other cool thing I like about this map, too, is he actually sections out uh, the alien races. So you can see, like, the Banu Protectorate. You can see the Xi'an Empire. You can see the Vandu Empire. It's very nice. Also, you can see how big of a hub Terra is and how many different lar uh, different systems connect to Terra, which would explain why Terra has become the number one new Earth. Uh, you can see Sol has uh, a few as well, but Terra is going to be a large uh, port of sorts as uh, time progresses and systems get released. Terra is going to be a hub. It's going to be like the Jita of Eve. I, I predict that Terra will be like a Jita and that there's going to be a lot of uh, action going on in Terra. And for those of you wondering if this is ever going to be a reality, I'm going to talk on Saturday and release a video about SSOCS and the Jump Point article and how server meshing uh, is a primary factor in making Terra going to be a hub where everybody can experience uh the same kind of uh, instances and and the amount of people that can play the game uh, experiencing the same things. We talk about persistence. I won't get into that, but very cool. I, I simply replied with really enjoying this bricks. Look forward to the vid and uh, hopefully he'll actually let me put this on my YouTube channel. I appreciate bricks and all the work that he's done and, and put into this. Good job bricks. And I will put uh, the relevant links down below and thanks everybody for watching. Um, again, shout out to Bricks. Really, really well done. And um, hopefully he lets me put the maps in there as well so everybody can get <clears throat> a piece of that. Um, and I will uh, talk with him before I release this officially on the YouTube channel. So hopefully this makes it to the YouTube channel, if not special treat for our, our uh, <laughs> Twitch Live fam here, who's really the only uh, people that are going to be able to see this. <laughs> If, in fact, Bricks is like, don't put it on the YouTube channel. But I'm pretty sure he will. He's a, he's a nice dude. And I don't think he'd mind at all. He's awesome. I've known him for quite a long time. So, anyway, peace out. See you on the next vid, guys.